Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we will see concept of kurtosis. So in case of kurtosis, we will see same frequency, uh, different frequency at same location. Just like you have three graphs, first is this, second is this, third is this. So in this first graph, this is the lo location of highest frequency. This is higher frequency and this is the location. For second one, again, this is same location. For third, again, this is same location. So how will you identify types of kurtosis? So on the basis of this measure beta 2, we can find this beta 2 using moments you can find this beta 2 using two moments first moment is mu 2 and second moment is mu 4 so on the basis of these two moments you can find beta 2 so if the value of beta 2 is greater than 3 then we can say this data type is leptokurtic if this value of beta 2 equals to 3 then we can say this is mesocurtic or normal type curve uh, this means your this kind of data is good for other statistical analysis and if this beta 2 is less than 3 then we can say this is platycurtic this may be good but this is uh, exactly not good for further statistical analysis and the difference between kurtosis and iskunes is what in case of iskunes, in my last lecture I taught, we are shifting this location of highest frequency towards right or left, just like this 15 towards left or towards right. So this creates iskunes. But if we are changing highest frequency value, not changing location, suppose we are changing uh, value of this highest frequency as uh, this is 20 or this is some suppose 85 or a uh, little bit decreasing also 11. So location of this highest frequency is same but value of frequency is changing. So this kind of study is known as kurtosis type. So if for this kind of data you are getting beta 2 is exactly 3 then this is good data or we can say normal data. Otherwise in these two situations, data may be in abnormal situation. So this is the concept of kurtosis. So I hope you understand this concept of kurtosis. And in next lecture, we will study how to find this beta 2 on the basis of moments. And we will also see how to find a measure of skewness on the basis of uh, this uh, moments. So I hope you understand this concept of kurtosis. So please like this video and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day. Thank you.